Today I'm going to talk to you about developmental genetics. And I'm going to show you this through the Game of Thrones developmental network of the Long Night. So in a developmental network, you have certain steps that either repress each other or activate. So the first step, with no mutations going along this developmental network, Jon Snow will help activate Daenerys on Drogon, and she will ki then kill and repress the Night Walkers. Then the Night Walkers will not be able to stop, repress Arya from killing and repressing the Night King. So this results in Arya defeating the Night King and saving the North, which is this developmental network's phenotype. So what if something goes wrong? In a single mutation, one of the steps is removed. And if Jon Snow is removed, then Jon Snow can't help activate Daenerys on Drogon to defeat the Nightwalkers, which represses them. And so if they can't be repressed, then the Nightwalkers will defeat Arya, which represses her, and Arya will not be able to defeat, repress the Night King. This results in the Night King taking over the North, which is this new phenotype. And another single mutation is if Arya is removed. Jon Snow will be able to help and activate Daenerys on Drogon, which will defeat and repress the Night Walkers. But since Arya is not there to stop and repress the Night King, this results in the Night King taking over the North, which is its phenotype. The last single mutation is if the Night Walkers are removed. Jon Snow can help and activate Daenerys on Drogon, and the Night Walkers will not be there to defeat and repress Arya. So this still results in the original phenotype, which is Arya defeating the Night King and saving the North. So a double mutation is if two steps are removed. And if Jon Snow and Arya are removed, then Jon Snow can't help activate Daenerys on Drogon, and then she can't defeat the Night Walkers without his help. So then the Night Walkers will be able to help activate the Night King. And this results in the Night King taking over the North, which is its phenotype. And the last double mutation is if Daenerys on Drogon and the Night Walkers are removed. Jon Snow will be able to help and activate Arya, and Arya will be able to kill and repress the Night King. And this results in Arya defeating the Night King and saving the North, which is its phenotype. This was my view on developmental genetics through the developmental network of the Long Night. And here are my references. Thank you.